Hello. Okay, I have a plan. This party, this is the problem with parties, right? You, you have a party, you're like, you've got everything ready, and then just someone tells someone who tells someone else. And then in the whole thing, before you know it, your whole house is full, and um, you've run out of ice and mixers, but that doesn't matter, because we have the best tequila. And I tell you what I'm gonna do, guys. Um, I wanna say happy Cinco de Mayo. This is obviously a day that we wanna celebrate uh, amongst us, amongst friends, amongst people that we've met, and we want to introduce you to some of the friends that I've met. What I'm going to do here, if this works, I'm going to invite my friend Tony along first. Tony, if you're there, I'm going to invite you, and then we'll see if it works inviting everyone else further down the line. If that doesn't work, I might start a live again and invite each of you separately. So then I'll do a little bit with Eugenia and then a bit with you, Stefan. I'm sorry. We'll see if it works, but I think it's just we have so many people on here. I did a live the other night and it also crashed as well. I think it was just too many people. So doesn't matter. We're in an exclusive party. So Tony, my friend, I'm coming for you. I want to say hello. I just want to have a little, uh, little tequila with you and then, uh, and then we'll see if uh, it kicks us off. But here we go. Um, we haven't been kicked off yet. Yes, if you didn't know, um, there he is. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Tony, buddy, good to see you, my friends. Glad to see you. I'm sorry that wasn't working. It's um, technology, and I think too many people are trying to trying to get on to, to our live. But um, it's good to see you, and, and happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy, happy Cinco de Mayo to you, too. I see you're in the distillery. You're actually working right now, which is a good thing, because we need more yes. tequila. Yeah, we're making tequila right now. We're getting some agave ready to cook for, for tomorrow. I love it. And this is somewhere that we visited with you uh, a couple of times, a couple of years ago, actually. And we were um, launching our whiskey. We came to, to Tequila Town. I knew nothing about tequila. We met yourself, your great family. Um, we shared our whiskey with you. You shared our, um, your amazing tequila with us. And we decided to collaborate. And we created, well, we created this, right? Exactly. Exactly. I got my tequila here. Oh, you've got one. I'm going to have to call myself one. So, Tony, just for those people that weren't on for our uh, tasting a little while ago, you know, what makes this so special? Obviously, it's a double wood reposado. We ate it in American oak, but then... Yeah, it's very special, like you said. First two years in American oak, and then we decided to try something different that we thought it would give us that special touch to the tequila, and we finished it in, uh, for four months in French oak wood. That was the, the, the first time we were going to do that, but we did some tryouts, and I think the outcome was great. Yeah, I think it, it really is great. I mean, honestly, all, I mean, you are a master distiller, obviously a third-generation third, third generation master right. distiller, and, and this is the first time, I believe, you've worked with, with anyone, right? This is the first time you've collaborated. Exactly. It's the first time we thought working with you guys was going to be really, really special, so we decided to take the, the chance and... I think we did a, a we, we did a very good job working first with you guys and getting this new tequila to get it out into the big market. This man is very, very humble. He says he's done a good job. He's done an amazing job. Salud, cheers to you, Tony. I mean, you've done an incredible job. We love this tequila. It cheers. is, um, it is, yes, we must try some. Cheers. Salud. Cheers. Mm. My God. Every time I taste it, it's so good. It is limited edition. We're not, there's going to be no more. We aged this in those large coupons, the, the big barrels, um, which I believe have gone now. And you've, you've never done that before. Am I right? No, it was the first time that, that we tried it. Uh, it was, uh, we were saving it for something special. And I think that was the best occasion we could have used it in. Oh, well, my friend, I just want to say happy Cinco de Mayo. I really appreciate all the work you've done. We love this tequila. We don't want it to run out, but um, we're getting there. But if you haven't got your hands on it, please um, try to. It's, it's delicious stuff. Cheers to you, Tony. I'll let you keep on working. And Thank what you. I'm going to do is I'll let you leave. You press on the cross, I think, in the top right-hand corner. Yep. I'll keep going, and then I'll see if I can invite Gina on and then Stefan as well. Perfect. Awesome, okay. my friend. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, Cheers. buddy. I'll speak to you Cheers. soon. Great to see you, Thank friend. You. Bye-bye. Bye. So, guys, Tony there in um, 
in Mexico in Tequila Town. He really is a genius. He's a third generation master distiller. Uh, he's a good friend. We sat down with him. We shared our, our whiskey. He's, he loves good spirits and we love good spirits. So it just seemed like the right match. And not only that, they're a family and we felt really a part of that family. I think that's what Scotland and Mexico has a lot of similarities to family, passion, the, the friendship and talking of friendship. I'm going to now try and invite, I think I've got this. I'm going to invite Gina along. Now, Gina is an ambassador for Tequileño. She might give us a little insight into, uh, into the tequila and how the tequila is doing around the world as well, because obviously there she is. Hello. Gina, we made it. <laughs> we did. So hello, cheers. cheers. Oh, I like your background. Now, I believe you are in the tasting room, right? Yes, we just opened about a month and a half ago. And I am uh, a few like, meters away from where Tony is, but it's a lot quieter here. Uh, right. We'll come and enjoy all the creations that he makes. And this is like a very chill place. We have some barrels behind me. And then we have like a large table where uh, 18 people sit and people can try his tequila. And everybody's been asking about Sassan Black lately. Right. Well, we heard that. I mean, obviously, your tequilas are phenomenal. And, and when we came there, I mean, honestly, I didn't know anything really at all. And, and it really is a great journey that we're going on and just learning about the great spirits you make there. Um, but yeah, this, this really is very unique. I mean, I know you guys have never done this before. You've never collaborated. Um, you've never aged in French oak, which I wanted to say to Tony, but it, it adds something different. It's that, that, that That's like a white... Yeah, right, that white wine barrel. I mean, obviously the, the American oak is great, but the white wine barrel gives it like this elegant sort of floral. Um, I keep thinking of champagne when I taste it. I, I, I love it. I think it's a real celebration drink. Something very special, right? It is, it's something like deep and complex and it's got uh, a lot of character to it. You could still taste the agave, but then it has really nice, it, because we have those two different types of wood. So like this like wood, background to it as well and it's just a really yeah. good tequila that everybody like i think they first want to try it because of you or because of like how beautiful the bottle looks but when it, they taste isn't it, it beautiful wide open they're like wait actually this is actually good and it's yeah well i, I mean i agree and I, I think well you you represent obviously the brands you know around the world and and uh and it's it's doing really well obviously our is doing really well but we actually have done i mean kind of better than expected. We've won some awards, am I right? A few awards, and they're all gold, and they're all fantastic. We won the Spirits and Masters, Masters Award with right. gold, with double gold. Double gold, and exactly. In Spirits uh, Challenge, we also won the gold medal. Well, I say we, because I feel like I'm part of the Tequilino family, but it's really you and Tony that have won all these awards, and it's, it's fantastic, because well, my get people to fall in love with tequileño, with all of our, our different expressions, it makes it so easy when it's actually something, you know, fantastic. I've been in the industry for 18 years and just phenomenal work with a tequila that has added, that is true to the story, third generation master distiller, that we don't make tequila for anybody else. Like this collaboration so it's got both your name and the tequileño name on it and it, it, it just it makes my job so much easier yeah well i think firstly i think you know we we feel we are part of the family i think you guys are you made it for us and i think exactly that the fact is that you've never done this before for anyone it's additive free there's no dare i say there's no shit in it like there's just none of that rubbish that the, the that's being put into other tequilas there it's it's all about craftsmanship and meeting Tony, meeting yourself, meeting the families there. We realized, you know, this is something that's about passion, uh, about heritage. And honestly, every time we come back there, we have such a good time. Uh, you're you're a lot of fun. And um, I, I want to sit and drink tequila with you. I haven't seen the, the new tasting room, so I'd love to come and see that. Well, anytime, Sam. Everybody's asking, when is Sam coming to tequila? <laughs> I get that question at least five times a week. So oh. I mean, well, I'm I'm asking it myself. I'm like I want to be back there, but we will. We will. We're working. We're working on a lot. 
Yeah. So yeah, well, we'll we'll share more of uh, well more of your fantastic tequila and hopefully more Sasanac Select. Um, it's it is a beautiful bottle. You guys did really well, and the stuff inside is just phenomenal. So I thank you guys all for your passion and support. Um, I I'm gonna talking of family, and I hope you don't mind me saying this, but I'm gonna bring in another member of the family. I wonder if I can put you together. I don't know. Should I try it or? Hi. If if we get kicked off, it's 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 because there's it's my internet connection. Okay, I'm gonna try and bring Stefan in here. Uh, let's see if I can do this, and probably the right one too, right? We don't want like some random person coming in here. <laughs> let's see if this works. Come on, Instagram, you can do this. Or maybe not. Maybe it's too. Oh, yes, I'm here. <laughs> How are the you? The family. Hi, Stefan. <laughs> Good to see you. Good Happy Cinco you. de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. I was going to try and say it in Spanish, but it, it, it wasn't coming out very well. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you guys. Time. Cheers. And good to see you. For everyone that's, um, everyone that's watching, well, basically, we, we first met Stefan. Stefan is actually Scottish, right? From, from Edinburgh. I'm, I'm from Edinburgh, yeah. Born and bred Edinburgh, Scotland. So, so we've had uh, two Scots, we've had two Scots and two Mexicans on. Uh, so that's a pretty, that's a pretty cool party, right? Even playing, that's a good party. Yeah. The right. one thing we all know what to do is that have a good time, the Scots and the Mexicans. <laughs> that's exactly it. And we had such a good time with you, buddy. We, we, um, you showed us around, you showed us El Tecleño, the, the amazing hotel there, the, the distillery, but also the town. And we were really just, we had just immersed in in the culture there and actually interestingly i think it was uh, don javier's funeral right am i right yeah it, it was on yeah un unfortunately and and for those that don't know don javier is a, a very famous uh um bar owner in the town of tequila he had a a bar called la capilla uh, which was once listed in the world's top 50 bars and they have their own cocktail called La Batanga and uh, uh, we're very fortunate that Tequileño was the was the tequila that, that he preferred in his in his cocktail and he was he was more than just a, a bar owner he was a real hospitable person he was really fantastic and caring and um, it, it was just a joy to be around so it was a, it was a very sad day to mm. uh, to have to see him uh, to see his funeral but um, you know his, he's always with us yeah, and I, I, well, I, I felt like when we, we went there, you guys, you know, you, we felt like that, that heritage and that, that sense of family and, and um, I guess the, the generations that have gone into to tequila, you guys really, it goes back generations, right? Even with Tony, you know, he's, he's uh, 100%. Yeah, when well, Tony's third generation, but, but, you know, if you go back 60 years and his grandfather, when he started Tequileño, uh, you know, the name Tequileño, if you're from the town of Tequila, that's that you're, you're called a Tequileño. So he named it in honor of those people from the, the town where the name comes from. And, yeah. um, you know, he was, uh, it, Tony's grandfather was, it was a real, real fantastic host, you know, he, and, and it was all about experience and, and having a great time and people enjoying the tequila so he wanted yeah. to make the best tequila that he could share with everybody and and that's what yeah. he did and he did it well well you guys do that absolutely and i think that's why we we loved your product so much gino we went out to the um you guys took us out to the agave fields we saw the blue agave we had you know local cuisine there i mean what's not to love right yeah no it was fantastic right now we talk about the town of tequila it took mind it came that the place of tequila so even though tony's just three generations the town just turned 492 years old wow. so this is a town that has a lot of stories a town that has a lot of people that have come through from all over the world because this is where the birth of the national spirit so definitely like a, a really fun place to visit yeah well i thank you guys for like taking me there and sharing you know your passion and your craft and and your family, right? I, I really had a good time. I hope I'll be there very, very soon. Um, I love hanging out with you guys. We'll come hopefully. out there soon. We'll see the new tasting rooms. We'll hopefully drink what's left of the El Tecleño, if there is indeed any left, because we're doing a lot of damage to it. But if you haven't got some, 
go to sassanexperience.com, get yourself a bottle. It really is a one-off, but um, I love you guys. It's so nice to hang out with you. I'm sure it's short and technical and whatever, but um, you guys are doing a great job and I can't wait to, to see you and, uh, and celebrate yeah. more. So happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. It's great. And uh, cheers to everyone watching. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for your patience. I'm going to, I won't finish the bottle. I'm going to save it. But, uh, <laughs> enjoy. Great what? to see you guys. Thanks, Sam. All right. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Salut, everybody. Thank you. Bye.